So let's see who we got here. Tapas versus Eclipse. We're gonna see Peach versus Greninja. Interesting matchup here. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how the matchup goes with Greninja versus Peach, but I can imagine that the fast moves of Greninja can really throw off Peach. But Greninja has to be careful of not being put into Peach combos, where she can just consistently get him with short hop nares, float nares, float cancel flares, all of that. So Eclipse is playing very careful against Capus right here. Yeah, he's careful, and he's also been very pressure happy with all the back airs and just preemptively just snap, sn sniping out Capus a lot. Okay, we got a knockdown in this situation. Yeah. But yeah, I don't see this matchup. I oh, mean, <laughs> it's match ultimate. You're not gonna see it yeah. matchups yeah. often, except for like the top tier. Ones. Yeah, <laughs> I, that's, that's what I'm saying though. Like Greninja's fast speed, I feel like can keep up with Peach's relatively mediocre disadvantage when she's in air. Yeah. So whenever I see Greninja, oh, I took the upstairs, But whenever I see Greninja. Going for that up air to possibly fast fall up air to be a setup, that's always scary. It's always scary because it can lead to a down smash or a yep. smash. Yeah, the drag downs are pretty lethal for him. Or, you know, he decides, you know, I'm into drag down, I'll just, you know, juggle you for a long exactly. time. Exactly, and, and it can kill off the top, so you still gotta be careful. So, um, but Eclipse definitely being smart against the turn up play here. Um, Cap is still trying to catch him with these short hop flows. Oh man, I don't think she's landing yet. Well, there she goes. Oh, man. And yeah, this is a lot of pressure. Eclipse is just keeping consistent pressure. And played it right there. The just parry! Oh, man. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Greninja has probably the best mobility in the game without any, you know, buffs like a Jump Monado or Limit or Hero. But, yeah, he's fast. He has, like, he gets to the top of his... Uh, jump faster than like any character, I believe. Yeah, and, and the fact that Greninja is able to use Shadow Sneak into his up B to just avoid Peach's like turn up head guards just makes the matchup so much easier. You know, there's some characters with down are not going to take it though, but there are characters with linear recoveries that make it easy for Peach to use that. With Greninja, being able to mix that up just makes the matchup seem so much easier. Especially when being hit up with a turn up off stage can really mean life or death for some characters. It can. Man, he's just very slippery and pretty aggressive with his dash attack. Just wants that pop up into fair. At 186, 189, at 194. This man's gonna make a doll. Oh, that's death right there. Yeah. I was about to say make it to 200, but he died at 200, so I guess that kind of counts. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> I'm surprised how that didn't shield pull. Oh, that sweet yeah. spot up smash would have taken it. Uh, trying to get an aggressive shadow sneak, it looks like, but he didn't hold it that long. I guess he wanted to go under the stage. Yeah, yeah. probably to catch the ledge and not make sure he's edge guarded by Capus. Mm -hmm. A lot of pressure from that uh, shuriken. The shuriken is very good at keeping that pressure and making sure Peach just keeps her place away from Greninja and being able to run in for a grab afterwards. Ooh. Catch it with the fair. Still not going to kill him. Tempting to. Uh, Get her off stage again. Oh, wow, that. that crossed up. Yeah. Capus definitely needs to be careful. Definitely against Greninja. At this high of a percent, absolutely. At one straight counter, just can end it. Yeah. I, mean, I wonder have, if up throw will kill here, actually. He might go for the safe kill and just... I, with, with percent on Eclipse, I could definitely see an up throw, but I don't, I don't know too much on that. But definitely, there regardless. Oh, he didn't go for it. Definitely get, would say, though, being careful, just Greninja. I just always get scared because one counter, and that counter's enough. There it is. Yes. There we go, up throw. But just that one counter, horizontally or vertically, it's going to kill. So, what would you think uh, he would counter? The turnips, or would he just counter? Like honestly, a I could see it countering turnips, because I feel like whenever I feel like whenever I fight like a Greninja, a projectile that can reach him can usually be enough to send him flying towards you. There are times where I could shield it in time. I don't know if Peach could do the same because she might be in midair, but it definitely seems like a dangerous situation. And Cap is pulling up Mario. Interesting for this matchup. I believe it's going to be for Mario, like an attempt for Mario to combo Greninja, as Greninja yep. is a fast forward. Mm -hmm. So I think the up air chains or up tilt chains going on a battlefield might help Capus here. I think so. Um, one thing that Mario struggles with, honestly, is that high mobility characters are pretty hard for him to chase down. Being, able, just... being able to not grab them, definitely. Yeah. 
but right now she's off to a really good start with the nair combos into a up air into up b right there how is this definitely making this seem like a much better matchup one thing that is to be of concern, though, is that Greninja being ably, easily able to gimp Mario with a Hydro Pump. Unlike Peach, who can reserve her Flow or Umbrella or Parasol, Mario doesn't have that luxury. So it's going to be interesting to see how this is handled off stage. But Cap is definitely playing much safer than last round. Using the Fireballs to zone out, I'd say this might be a better matchup for Capus, but we'll see about that. And she's she off to a good start, but I don't oh, know. Absolutely. I just wonder, like, um, because Mario is so combo heavy, I wonder what's the play to get the kill here, because right now he's I, I, still alive. I, I think the fish. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think the the goal of Mario is to get in a back air or up smash. I don't. I think uh, F smash might be too unreliable to catch that, but we'll see. But definitely, Cap says Mario is looking very confident off. Oh. Oh. Not, I don't think that was intentional, but we take those. Yeah, we so, take those, intentional or not. Yeah, exactly. But there it is. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, and she got a combo. Oh, she had a combo. <laughs> what I was about to mention, though, is that that counter is going to reach you. No matter where you are, that counter is going to reach you. But shielding in time definitely helps lessen the blow on that. Cap mm -hmm. is very, very much ca like, oh. catching these with short O. Oh, Oh, saving the up wow. saving the super jump punch, definitely. I actually thought the uh, Hydro Pump was going to kill her, because... I, I think, thought too. Yeah, because the knockback from it seems to be increased, at least, um... Maybe I'm thinking of Flood, but one of the uh, water uh, water base uh, moves that push you away got a buff, and I want to say it was Flood. I'm not sure if Hydro Pump for Greninja got the same thing. I, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be surprised if Greninja also had that, too. But Cap is definitely keeping that pressure on this match, and Eclipse just having to take a breather back and trying to figure out what this Mario can do and how he can exploit. Oh, she called that out, actually. Oh. And she called that out. Yeah, I take back my earlier statement about F-Smash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta rescind that statement, sir. But I, I, I'm definitely expecting to see up smashes later on, especially how, with how safe it is, or at least how safe it used to be. But definitely with catching Greninja, who's just, just zooming all over the place, catching Mario, and just throwing out a stray, up, throwing out a stray smash attack. Oh, wow. Might take it. Yeah, these up air chain. I think another thing we didn't comment on, comment on is that Greninja, uh, for all his movement, he doesn't have that great of an out of shield option. No. Oh! oh. Calling out that late recovery. Yeah, I think I think uh, Eclipse was pondering, you know, what to do there. You know, should I up B? Should I double jump in time, or should I just side B? But Kappa it's, said, you know, I'm just gonna dunk you. We'll have to see how this next match goes because now we know that Eclipse is probably gonna ban ba Battlefield. So we're gonna have to figure out is Kappa gonna switch back to Peach, stay Mario, and what is Eclipse going to do about that Mario? See, I think we're gonna see like a bigger stage. Um, yeah, oh, like yeah. I said. <laughs> but Greninja being able to use that wall for wall cling, I could see that definitely being interesting for Ed Ledge guarding Mario. Oh, I was supposed to say Ridley right there. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I yeah. wish. Yeah, but uh, definitely, uh, it's it's gonna be interesting to see that because Eclipse is very safe with using those edge guards. I haven't seen many. So uh, occasional hydro pump, but not many attacks that would disrupt Mario. Mm -hmm. But we'll see how this match goes, especially how Mario does not have those platforms, or at least at Oh any. wow, that trade led into a jab right there. Especially on the sweet spot too. That sweet spot. Oh, he might be dead here. Yeah, she, I think she might be done here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's definitely. She has no jump. Yeah, oh, that was close. That was close. It was close. But the constant pressure off stage with those back airs was just relentless, just keeping Kappa's off stage. Yeah, Greninja's air speed and great drift and jumping ability just was able to let him just chain back air into back air. But like you said, the edge guard came out, even though it took a while. I feel like Kappa's is just being a bit more aggressive now. Eclipse definitely catching on to that and definitely using those stray shurikens. Whoa! whoa. See? It's weird. It's just, it'll just follow you and it'll just take you into space or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did. Instant transmission. <laughs> Oof. Oh no. I'm not sure. I know that sometimes on PS2 was an issue where Greninja's up smash will not correctly sweet spot, and I don't know if that's the same for Unova. 
I don't know. Oh, That's confirming right there. Well, there it is. Heavily up smash, and the clip's only at 66% at third stock. Now, they're going to wall click. Oh, is the clip baiting? Yeah, oh. just trying to see if she would come in. Eclipse, oh, no, she has no jump. Eclipse now has the ability to be incredibly aggressive offstage, knowing that he has this large lead. Yep. But he can't get too greedy, or else, you know, Mars is just going to combo him to hell and back. How many wall cleans does he get again? A lot, that's what you oh, oh, I like that idea. <laughs> the bait was almost there. Before Shadow it. Sneak? Oh! Yeah. yeah. Shadow Sneak right there. That's a lot more potent off stage now in this game versus Smash 4. That Absolutely. move wasn't and, as strong. And, Gre and Greninja able to directional air dodge or Hydro Pump immediately after that would just, even if Cap has decided to air dodge, he's coming back. Yep. So definitely something that got to be careful with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, I, this is my a big gripe for me in Smash Ultimate. I noticed that when Eclipse was wall clinging, I saw, I actually, for the first time, I saw, I saw the, um, the smoke when you use your double jump, right? You know that feature? Yeah, yeah. That's the, that was the only time I could actually see it. I was like, I know it's there, yeah. but that was like the one time I was like, oh, there it is. But I know Sakurai tried to make, make it a bit easier to, for people to realize they use a double jump, but it's so faint. Yeah. And you needed a dark stage like that and even a dark wall to see it. I was like, oh, there it, it is. Even, even when, compared to Smash 4, they made Shadow Sneak much more, I don't know, visible? Like, it's much easier to see. But oh, no, no, I meant with, like, using your double jump, not with oh, Shadow yeah. Sneak. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but also, oh, I mean, like, bad, when, you, when, you, when you're off stage and Greninja uses Shadow Sneak, it might be too late. Like, it's, unless you know it's going to come, it's... Decently fast. I mean, That's true. especially on a dark stage where you can't see the animation of like the like little red eyes and stuff. Yeah.